it can be easy dealing with the peer pressures that surround you when you're young. Basketball star Brandon Brown made a life-changing choice that came at a big cost, paving a path that would be difficult and rough. The senior guard shares his inspiring story of turning his life around and getting a rare second chance. Sarah Cazell has the story. LMU's Brandon Brown is having a remarkable senior year. He leads the Lions in scoring, assists, and as a captain. Brown drives, reverses, and lays it in. Buzzer sounds, game over, LMU wins. But the road that led him here wasn't all that smooth. When Brown was 15, he helped carry out an armed robbery. He was, by all accounts, a good kid who ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't even know what, what's going through my mind, you know? His prison sentence of six and a half years was reduced to two and a half years through a plea deal, and Brown was allowed to finish high school before doing his time. Brandon Brown looking for three, and he trades it with eight. Fast forward a few years to 2015. Brown was out of prison and in his second of two seasons at a junior college in Arizona. On his resume, he had a JUCO National Championship and a National Player of the Year award. He was ready for D1, and LMU was interested. The coaches from here called me and they asked me about my story. Coach Dunlap went to the president and like talked to him and told him my story. And they agreed and they said they loved my story and they'd love to give me a chance here. And then it was it. The coaches saw his talent, his ability to move quickly to the basket or create a shot for a teammate. They also saw a young man who deserved a second chance. Our feeling was that with Brandon, if he really wanted to have an education, if he really uh, had turned his life around in that respect, LMU was just a terrific place for him because all the things that we have to offer of, of support that we can give him. And indeed, that was the case. He, he wanted an education. He wanted a quality basketball experience. And he's been terrific for us. You know, our mission statement in LMU, a, a part of that is, is to reclaim and uh, so I just think that that's what LMU is about, the spirit of the university is obviously there's a religious tilt to it that we're very proud of, and so it, it's a perfect fit. Since stepping on campus ahead of last season, Brown has flourished. Takes his man, fires the three, good at the buzzer. He's become a much more vocal leader at Mike Dunlap's encouragement, in addition to becoming a more focused student. He has a constant smile on his face, which isn't too far from how he was as a high schooler, but perhaps now there's a different meaning behind that smile. It was one of the best feelings in the world just to know that I've been through all that stuff and to just move on with my life and be able to play Division I basketball is just such an amazing feeling. In the recruitment, it's inexact science. You, you know, you have little marks that you think, transcripts, et cetera, things that tell you about a person but there were things we couldn't see and there were things we could see and they all married themselves to what he is now. He's our team captain. Uh, he presents himself around campus as a remarkable person and um, he leaves a legacy for our, our, our team of somebody that can have a second chance and do quite well with it. So he's probably uh, in many ways uh, helped other people that will walk after him. So that's his legacy. For the WCC this week, I'm Sarah Cazell.